Hey y'all, this is Brett, and you know, Buddhism often talks about how they're trying to alleviate pain and suffering. That's kind of their logo, their slogan, to alleviate pain and suffering from all living beings in the world. And you know, that would be a focus on the negative, wouldn't it? If you're always talking about that thing, to alleviate pain and suffering. <laughs> Eventually, I've known for a long time that I would get to the point of where I kind of got over the hump. And that would be that I'm predominantly so much more thinking about positive things rather than negative things. And remember, nothing's ever perfect here, <laughs> including me. But that I would get to the point of where I was like, man, I don't want to talk about negative or think about negative things. I don't want to watch the news and I don't want to be around negative people. What do I want? <laughs> what I do want <clears throat> is positive things and you know I've had all these guests come here to my house and some of them have been stick in the muds but so many of them have been awesome and I just want to attract more and more of that into my life and somehow filter away the others but bear in mind for those of you that are wondering about people that need my help that if somebody wants to jump on my bandwagon and they want to ask me a question and they're not too overbearingly negative or, or like burdensome on me and I feel as though I can help them, then sure, absolutely, I'm going to help them as much as I can. But I just want you to know where I'm at now and that is that... <sighs> I'm just getting there. I'm getting there. And you're not going to see any video titles entitled something like, and I'm not even going to say it, because I can think of them if I want to. But I don't want to focus on that. I don't want to focus on anything that's going to bring about polarity. And you can say anything that you want to create polarity. Somebody lashing back against you. You can do that on these videos. You can comment back to somebody that writes something nasty to me. Most of the time, as soon as I see those, I just block them and erase the comment, and that's it. It got dissolved, and it goes out to the ethers. So, um, things are good. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do now. And, you know, there are so many things, fun things, that I can do instead of bitching about doctors. Think of all the things that I can think about. In my mind, if I, every year, let's say that every year, I think about angry things before this. I thought about angry things that uh, I could lash out to the medical community for. But in the coming year, I don't do that and I fill that void with positive things that I can do to make people happy, make me more money, buy me cool things, holistic things. I've got to show you this. <laughs> I guess I'll do it. All right, I'll show it to you. <clears throat> I'm going to show you what I bought for me yesterday. Because I like to support the art community, and because I love art, <clears throat> I bought me a cool painting yesterday. I'm going to show it to you. And I deserve it. In fact, I deserve it so much because I worked my ass off all day today and all day yesterday, and it's the weekend. But you know what? I don't mind because I like to work. I like to work because it's my businesses, it's my products, it's, it's all my stuff, and when people order stuff, I feel obliged to work my ass off on that sewing machine or in the shop, etc. Look at this. <laughs> you know what that is? 
That's the Asheville Drum Circle every Friday night. You'll see hundreds of people in Pritchard Park in Asheville. You want to check it out? Asheville Drum Circle. Check it out on YouTube. God knows how many videos there are. <laughs> now check this out. Somebody the other day ordered a squatting toilet platform and I have all these squatting toilet platform tops that are about half finished. And uh, so I just got on it yesterday morning. And uh, blam! Look at that. It's got a kind of a cool spalted top. See that con little configuration? Like that's called spalted. And so I put the legs, the, the blocks on. I sanded it all first. I put the blocks on, and then I put the first coat of all-natural cashew tree resin finish on it. And I guarantee you that if you buy one of these, it will last you and your kids, and probably their kids. It'll last for probably hundreds of years. I am not kidding you. It's built like a freaking tank. <laughs> those are rock maple, rock maple, and those are um, red oak and this is no formaldehyde safe plywood and the finish is cashew tree resin so it's totally non-toxic and healthy as well and those are screwed in with stainless steel screws and glued <laughs> with no formaldehyde glue so check it out it's been raining like crazy well, I know that some of you watch the news, but I haven't seen the weather. I haven't seen the news, and I have no idea what's going on in Israel, or Korea, or North Korea, or <laughs> any of those places. No idea. And you know what? I don't even care. <laughs> Life is good. It's a bit wet here, but... Um, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what kind of videos I'm going to do now because I don't know that I'm that much into doing videos on dis-ease anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, I just picked some collard greens out of the garden down there and cooked them up. Uh, it just made me a smoothie. Yeah, I'm still using the blender and uh, still using the juicer, but I do love my, um, my uh, wet grinder, if you remember that video. But I hope you're doing well, and uh, things are good. <laughs>